All right, guys, now that we've got our data structures and our custom post type set up with the correct taxonomy, we've added a bunch of advanced custom fields. This chapter is going to be all about that custom loop layout. Now, I think it's very important to kind of discuss what a custom loop layout is and look at a few examples before we get into folding out our custom loop layout. I think that'll set you up with, you know, some inspiration for great ideas, as well as really grasping what we're doing here and what we're looking at. So this lesson is going to be about that. So let's take a look at my diagram I have right here. Okay, so here I have a definition for what a custom loop layout is, because we want to first know what we're talking about and what the custom loop layout is or a loop layout within terms of WordPress. It is basically just a block code that displays your blog post on your WordPress theme. And you know, if you work with WordPress, it's just called the WordPress loop. Now it controls how these things are displayed on the screen and how the user interacts with them. Now, if you look at the right side here of the image on screen, you'll see an example of this code. Now, normally you would need to be a coder to control the custom loop and edit the template files of your theme. But of course, Divi Machine makes that super easy for you by providing you with a bunch of modules and stuff so that you don't even need to touch the code to make beautiful sites. And that's what we're doing in this course. So that's exciting stuff. Okay, so moving on, we've got the layout that we're gonna be building out and then using in our loop. So in a loop layout, there's really two components. You've got the layout component, and that's gonna be this part where we're looking for Monty. And this consists out of a bunch of elements that we'll look at next. And then this layout is looped on your page. So let's think in the terms of our classified site here. If you are looking at all the classifieds, you're gonna loop through all the classifieds here. And that is how we control it. Now you can also control the type of loop layout that you've got here. Um, you could have a masonry layout, a grid layout. You can even have a list layout. So those are different things that you could do. Um, but it's really up to you and the way you wanna design your sites. This is of course, again, to serve as inspiration for you as you go and build out your sites. Now, moving on, I wanna talk about what the different elements are in the actual layout. So here I've got the anatomy of a loop layout. And when we look at our example of Monty again here, we'll see that we've got a featured image, which is this one right here. It's got the post title. The stuff should be sounding pretty familiar at this point. And then you've got the content right here. Now these things are the stock um, layout elements, post elements that WordPress provides for you. So those ones are great, but we are gonna go even further by adding these custom elements that we've added. So we've got um, some of our taxonomy on here, we've got pets, we've got the type of post or the status, but the status is of course a child of the type of post. So we've got that Monty's lost, we have got the location here. And then of course the view post button, you can style that up and make it look any way you want to. So this is the purpose of creating a custom loop layout. We wanna control what this is gonna look like on the page and your imagination and your design skills are really the limit. Instead of having to know a bunch of CSS and code, the view machine makes it easy with a bunch of modules. So when we're building this out in the next step, You'll see how we utilize things like the ACF item module or how we're using the you know, post title module. Well, basically you just see all the different elements within Divi Machine will utilize to build out this layout. And then we'll set that on a page that we're gonna loop through that, those layouts and those different posts and show them on a page nice and easily. Now you've had contact with loop layouts pretty much anywhere you've been on the web. Think about any blog or any online store. I'm gonna take this example right here on screen now of Amazon. So if you load up on Amazon, you've got a bunch of different things here. If I go maybe for the electronics toys, these are essentially a category loop layout that we've got going on over here. And then here we've got a layout. Now this is kind of similar to what we just looked at on the example of Monty. So we've got a featured image, we've got some sort of status here, a title, and then a price. So it's got all these different elements for you. And going down, you can see that, okay, well, yeah, Amazon's using yet another loop layout, and it's got ratings included with 
the actual uh, listing. And if I go even further and let's say I type in laptops, oh, tops here. Now you see yet another version of a loop layout style where you've got the image off to the side and you've got the title, the price, and you've got a little bit of extra information. These would be those ACF item modules to or attribute modules to show different elements that are associated with this. So it really is a powerful tool that you can use. It, it's just so many different options. So what we're going to do is we're going to take what we learned here and we're going to apply it to building out our own custom loop layout. And we're going to recreate the one of Monty that we've got right here. And we're going to make it look amazing. And you're going to learn exactly how to do this super easy in the next lesson. So I'll catch you there real soon.